Just like the previous video in the Android app series, to separate out the good from the bad, I'll show you 10 Android apps that are amazingly great as compared to the worst apps in the Google Play Store. These will be some of the best Android apps that you can get. These will be a mixture of both older and newer apps, along with viewer suggestions from the previous video. With any luck, you might find two or three of these apps for your Android phone or tablet that work great for you. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is Quick, which is a video editor created by GoPro. It works with your photos and pictures captured by your phone or any other device. You don't need to have a GoPro camera to use Quick. When you open the app, tap on create a new video, and then just go through all your pictures and video to select the ones you want to use for your project. So I'll select a few here. And when you're ready, tap on the check mark. It's going to ask you to name your project, so name it whatever you want. I'll just name mine test and then tap on continue. It will automatically create a video for you with music. I have the sound muted right now. If you don't like the video that was auto created, you can edit the video to your liking and there are a ton of settings that you can choose too. You can choose from more than 80 free songs in the app or music from your collection. Your finished videos can be saved in formats up to 1080p with 60 frames per second. Quick is one of the best video editors you can get in the store. Best of all, it's completely free. This is one you should definitely check out. Next up is Flipboard, which takes news from many different sources and compiles them all into a single app. This popular app has a great looking user interface. When you swipe up, it goes to the next story. Just tap on the article if you want to read more. Back on the home page, in the heading at the top, You'll have cover stories, which is the main page. You can also add headings with your interests. Currently, I only have technology and sports. To add more interests, go to the What's Your Passion heading. Select an interest. I will select science. Here you can add more subcategories. I'll add in NASA, social sciences, and physics. When done, hit save. And as you can see, science has been added to my headings. If you're a news junkie, Flipboard is a must-have app. Music Maker Jam is a popular app for those of you that want to create your own music. This one was suggested by several of you in the comments. When you open the app, you can scroll down to listen to other creations, or to make your own creation, just tap on the Music Maker Jam icon at the top. This is where all the magic happens to edit your music. You'll have a ton of loops, beats, and melodies to start mixing your track and you can also record your voice to be used in the track. When you install and first launch the app, they're nice enough to give you a tutorial to learn how to use it. Music Maker Jam is a great app for creating music. It's free and offers in-app purchases. Memrise is a language learning app that was one of the winners at the 2017 Google Play Awards. Many people actually prefer this app over other language learning apps like Duolingo and Babbel. When you launch the app, you're asked which language you'd like to learn. There are a bunch of languages to choose from. I'll select Swedish, then tap on Beginner. It'll show some fancy graphics. And when you get through all of that, just follow the on-screen instructions. If you want to learn how to speak a new language, give Memrise a try. Open Camera is, as the name suggests, a camera app with a lot more features than what is usually pre-installed on your phone or tablet. It has a lot of options that you can play around with, including the option to take photos remotely by using voice commands or by making any other noise like whistling. Also, if you go into settings, there are a lot of default settings that can be changed. Open Camera is fully featured and completely free. So if you're still using the stock camera app that came with your phone or tablet, this is one you should consider. Next up is the Here We Go Maps and Navigation app which for the longest time used to be owned by Nokia. My usual go-to navigation app is Waze, but I've run into instances lately where it doesn't work properly. When that happens, my backup navigation app is Here We Go. It has reliable navigation, it has offline maps which can be downloaded, and real-time public transportation options for those of you that live in the city. If you need a good alternative to Waze or Google Maps, Here We Go is a solid option. Treehouse is another programming app like Codecademy and Solo Learn that can help you learn the basics of programming. 
For those of you starting out, there are several coding languages to choose from with more than 150 courses. Once you get logged into the app, it'll take you through several screens to help you get started. Once that's done, you can get started on your course. Also, you can watch videos, complete coding challenges, and take quizzes in the app. Unlike other programming apps I've mentioned before, Treehouse is not free. They do offer a seven day free trial. After that, plans start at $25 per month. City Mapper is the ultimate transit map for those of you that live in cities that have transit options. This app was nominated for best app at the Google Play Awards this year. Sadly, this app does not work in the New Orleans area yet. I'm going to be in the San Francisco Bay Area soon, so I'll use that as an example. At the top of the app, it will give you all the transportation options, including bus, rail, ferry, bike, and Uber and Lyft are even listed. Now I'm going to tap on Get Me Somewhere. I'll use Powell Street as the starting location and Giant's Dugout as the ending location. It'll let you know the amount of calories you'll burn if you walk or take a bike along with how long it'll take you to get to your destination. And below in the suggested category, it'll show you the costs and time for taking the public transportation options, along with other options listed below. City Mapper is not in all areas yet. If you plan on visiting one of the cities they cover, City Mapper can make your transportation experience better. Eventbrite lets you discover popular events taking place in your area. For example, they list concerts, sporting events, festivals, free events, and more. When you open the app, it will show you events based on your interests. Well, that one looks like an interesting event. If you select popular at the top of the page, it will show you the most popular events taking place in your area. There's a small map icon in the upper right. If you select that, it will show you a detailed map of all the events that will be taking place. Eventbrite is free and tickets for certain events can be purchased within the app. This last one is called Droop. It's a smart dialer with a built-in call recorder and it has a smart caller ID tracker and blocker, which comes in handy if you have to deal with telemarketers. This one I can't demonstrate without exposing my contact list to everyone. So I would suggest watching the video for Droop on the Google Play Store to learn more. Droop is one of my favorite apps in this video that you should check out, especially if you get calls from telemarketers. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if there is an app you feel deserves to be in the Android app series. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more from our Android app series and other tech related stuff from Tech Gumbo.